Good local time, everyone. I'm Audrey Tang, Taiwan's Digital Minister. I'm very glad to be here again at GIS Taiwan and talk to you all. Now, the world has changed a lot over the past few years. Those changes worldwide in scope affected our lives in numerous aspects, both positively and negatively. But my favorite Canadian poet, Leonard Cohen, once said, there is a crack in everything and that's how the light gets in. These challenges brought new opportunities. For example, last August, we launched the Ministry of Digital Affairs, MODA. We're committed to promote suitable digital tools and open mindsets through building digital resilience for all. Resilience is the ability to recover quickly from any adverse impact, to respond immediately through improved mechanisms, and even learn from the experience of being attacked like last August and strengthen oneself. For example, if you remember, last August, many official websites of the government were taken down through denial of service attacks, DDoS attacks. Now, in Moda, we made good use of public code. We deployed a decentralized structure and created a plurality of operating services. Even if a certain part, like the Web2 part, is attacked, the security and availability of the other parts, like Web3, can be maintained through the joint defense mechanism. So the commitment here is centered on making sure that the free software licenses, including Creative Commons or CC0, is added to the international standards for public code. It also means that the system programs set up by our government can be entirely made public, just like from the US or the UK with clear guidelines and specifications. And so not only improving for the Moda website itself, they're also free for further use and innovation and improve the resilience of all other governmental websites and also everyone. So the content and the code of Moda adopted CC0 gradually. We released them to the public domain. We shared a foundation of resilience with democratic partners, the 60 or so partners that has signed the Declaration for the Future of the Internet and created a model of digital governance together. So as we have shown in Taiwan, democracy is not just for the people, but with the people. Trusting citizens to participate in policy making can form shared goals, develop innovative solutions, and contribute to our planet. Another example. In January, I headed to Lithuania to attend the Free Digital Democracy Dialogue and share Taiwan's experience of implementing digital approaches. It was a very fruitful experience. I became an e-resident of Lithuania, and I really enjoyed this opportunity. I'm really excited to see more and more young people participating in activities like GIS Taiwan, which is a great way to communicate and share your innovations with the world. The annual theme of GIS Taiwan 2023 is Fragments of the Future, imagining the infinite possibility of the future awaiting us. Now, I'm sure that you all took a bold step to commit yourselves and challenge yourself to piece out the future that belongs to you and me. I encourage all of you to keep abreast of the trends around the world, to actively participate in public affairs and create positive social impact on our future. Thank you for listening. Live long and prosper.